the seven wonders of the world. Christ the Redeemer, the Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramids, truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. It's like a pylon. <laughs> Carl Pilkington. <laughs> I don't know the politically correct term. Moron. I think he is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like, mank, moron, buffoon, idiot. And he's a friend. I... He's a typical little Englisher, and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Uh... I just think that it'd be amazing to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic of Sky behind me. Shit. Shit. This is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Let me go! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs>
My head! I can't breathe! Oh, fucking hell, fuck. my back! Fucking oh. hell! Oh. 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 Alright, Carl, uh, Steve here. I forgot to mention to you that, that me and Ricky have arranged some extreme scenario training. Uh, obviously, you're in quite a sort of volatile region and you need to be prepared in the event of uh, a kidnapping. I don't know what you're saying. Stop hitting me on the air. So there'll be a team of people who'll just jump out of you at some point when you least expect it and uh, you know, sort of train you on how to react and how to behave. All right, I hope you get this message before, uh, before it happens. Be good, be good. I'm being good. Be good. Talk to me. Hang on a minute. I'm to are you talk English? To me. You English? Yes. Talk to me. Who are you? What do you want? What uh, are you doing with the Israelis? I I'm just here on a holiday. Yes, on a holiday. You are a spy. I'm not. You're a fucking spy. I'm not a fucking You're a spy. Fucking spy, Israeli spy. Who is there is your manager? Uh, what is the number of him? He's in my mobile. What mobile? What is the number of him? I don't know. I, like, uh, I, will, I, I don't even know me mum and dad's number. Give me the fucking number of the Shabak. Uh, who, who, are, who are you giving this this all this shit? To Sky. 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 What Sky? To the Sky? Sky 1. HD. Sure, Sky 1. Uh, well, that's who we're giving all this shit TV. to. Uh, It's pretty, pretty frightening. You know, but most of the people... Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is... Uh, really you know, I mean, the adrenaline. I was shaking for about 15 minutes after, you know, that happened. But it makes me realise that I haven't got a clue, really. You have to know by heart a telephone number of, of the back office of you, that you are going to call them and tell them the secret word that you decided before. You said the secret word. That means he knows, he knows that you are under danger. There's no secret word. That Nothing it should can... be. It I, should know, be. I haven't got one. Honestly, I'm not messing around. No one has given me a word. It should be. I don't know what number to call, but I'd have to call Susanna. And say I'm in a bit of bother. I wouldn't want to panic her straight away, so I'd, I'd say, how is everything? And they'd say, right, listen, bit of a problem. OK. I was taken away. She'd probably start going, what do you mean? I'd go, shh, quiet, I've only okay. got low battery. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Shh, don't where shout, you? because they can hear me. Where? What country? Where? I mean, it, well, you know where I am. Where? You never listen to me, you see. You keep going on about okay, your Okay, where cuts. are you? Where are you? I'm in Israel. In Israel? What? You're right. Where are you? Yeah, where you're are right. You, you're right. We haven't sorted anything out. You're right. Okay. I mean, I'm clueless. But I didn't know I was coming to Israel. The fact that they Help teach yourself. that stuff here means that it does go on. I mean, that wasn't all set up for me, was it? That's proper training. That's what they do. But surely they want, you know, why would they have me? What can I offer? They call the embassy up, say, we've got Carl Pilkington here. Who? Oh, I've got no record of him. Um, I don't think he'd even make the news. I'd probably get in the local paper in Manchester if it was a light news day. Carl Pilkington, Manchester, he's, he's stuck in a hut somewhere in Israel. Go, 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 go! Go! Check the other side. Fine. Go to the door. Stay there. Good. Okay. How you feel? Knackered. Huh? Yeah. Did that look good? This guy is waiting for you in the corner. Yeah. I don't know if I saw the gun or not though. I oh, just he looks like he's from Liverpool. I thought he's up to no good. Yes. He looks like a scouser. <laughs> What is this all about? You know, I thought I was seeing the wonders of the world. I thought I was on my way to see Petra in Jordan. The plain lands, I'm in Israel. Not, not Jordan, but, you know, where, where the wonder is. Israel. Yesterday I spent a day getting a bag put over my head. And then you turn around and say, oh, well, you might need that, you know, with being in Israel. Well, don't have me in Israel then. Then it can't be that dodgy, can it? Because look at all the tourists. It sort of relaxed me a little bit, I think. Because you don't queue up to go into a danger zone. But there is a lot of people about with guns. You know, is it all part of it, though? Do they do that for the tourists? Does it make the tourists feel like, oh, it's a bit edgy, but really, it's not going to kick off? I can't work out. At the end of the day, I'm just not that into religion. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't excite me. I don't need it in my life. But because I'm here, you know, Steve's sort of saying, well, you might as well see some of it. I said, well, like, what? He said, well, the Whaling Mall. I said, you what? He said, the Whaling Mall, it's really popular over there. 
So I'm going to go and look at a wall. This is all new to me. It's not like I've come here with any idea of what this is about. I've no idea. These, they all seem to be doing different things, you know. Some are kissing the wall. He's nodding at it. People sticking bits of paper in. And there's bits of there's bits of rubbish in there. There's some sort of one of those insurance things. Oh, sorry. It's like a form about insurance or something stuck in that one. So they even get junk mail. There's junk mail in the wall. It's a weird one, the wall. It, it reminded me of like a people who write to Jim will fix it. You know, you're not going to get an answer, or not everyone anyway. It's a waste of time. I always think about an alien. If an alien landed and for some reason they picked me and they go, Carl, you're our leader whilst we're here. Why do people do this in Israel? Don't know. How do you explain that? It's not what I thought it would be, Jerusalem. I had this vision in the head of a place where, you know, Jesus was knocking about on a donkey. That's been shattered now. And everywhere you go, there seems to be some other religious people coming out of the woods somewhere. It's like, it's like Pac-Man, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You go down a little alley thinking this will be quiet down here, and then a load of stuff comes at you. Nothing's ever easy, is it? You know, Steve said he sorted me out with a lift to get back to the hotel. Well, that's nice of him. And then this lot turned up. My whole life, this is all I want to do. I want to go around this car or another car every day and make people happy. Why not? This is what we do in traffic now. Take this out. <laughs> they were nice enough lads and that, but. Doing that is dangerous, and there's enough danger here, you know, with, you know, bombs going off or blokes walking out with guns. I don't need to add more danger to my little trip by dancing about on a busy road. You know how many smiles we're gaining right now? We could be saving, we're saving lives right now. Somebody that was maybe depressed and wanted to commit suicide, now he's smiling, now he doesn't want it. She's not smiling. That's me a sticker from this. See a sticker? Yeah. What do you want? Put it on the box. She's terrified. She's terrified. She's going, for God's sake. She, 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 went, she went like that and locked the door. That's a public All right. The lights are changing. Lights, 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 lights! Oh, we're not getting out again. Where are you going? And it took ages, didn't it? You know, I mean, I might as well have got on a bus. You know, at least a bus has less stops than they do. I mean, at every hundred yards, they were getting out and having a dance. <laughs> For his stuff, huh? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Come on with us, come on with us. Just for a bit, come on. Move it. Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. On a corner, come pick a dangerous spot. This is the most dangerous place. <laughs> yeah, I felt a bit bad about jumping out and legging it, but I don't like dancing, do I? You know, I, I don't dance at weddings, so I'm not going to start doing it on a dual carriageway, am I? I mean, you're right, is that there is a lot of misery in the world. But that doesn't help me, that's making me worse. They're causing all that fibbing. Do you know what I mean? Someone's trying to get to hospital, the grand's dying, they're in the road. Hey, 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 get out the fucking road! I spoke to Steve this morning, and he said, oh, get yourself over to, to Bethlehem, see where baby Jesus was born. Bit of a problem, I found out it's in Palestine, which, you know, that's another place I've heard nothing but bad news about. Plus, I've got to get over a massive wall to get to it. It's just ugly, and it goes on for miles. I mean, they're not messing about, are they? I kind of thought, I bet there's some way you can sneak under it or over it, or... But there's no way. Well, you've got to call London before we go over, mate. That's good. The man, the man in charge of making sure I'm safe. 
All right, Richard, it's Carl, about to go over the border. If you don't hear from us in four hours, it's all gone tits up. I mean, that, that's Richard, that sums him up. He's always on the phone. So of all the people to have as our emergency number, you know, calling 999, it's engaged, sums him up. That checkpoint was a bit weird, wasn't it? I mean, I sort of felt guilty, even though I hadn't done anything. I've got a Palestinian fella meeting me called Case. Yeah, but I think I'm meeting, I'm meeting. Are you Carl? Yeah. Hi, I'm Case. How are you? How was it? Depressing. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think it would have that effect on me. I'm not that sort of person, really. You know, if you're passing here every day, it's not depressing. If you're walking, waking up every morning and seeing this ugly concrete stuff in front of your eyes, then it's depressing. Be my guest. This is my car. Safe. Huh? Safe. Yeah, of course it's safe. I have insurance. What's the shape of that? Are these for us? Yeah, it's a gift from the Holy Land. Oh, Holy Land. It feet. makes holy music. I don't think that when I'm playing it. See, there's nothing like that at home. There's we, nothing we like that anywhere on Earth. No, we have a congestion charge that caused a little bit of fuss. If you drive into London, you have to pay eight pounds. Everybody was like, this is an outrage. But it's nothing compared to this. Honestly, I, This is costing the people more than eight pounds, man. This is costing them their future. Is it going to be busy in there? Well, check it out. Did you close your door well? Yeah. Is anyone going to nick it? I mean, it's a religious yeah, thing. Lots, lots of cops, so don't worry. People who are into religion shouldn't be nicking cars. So why are these a big deal then? Why, why are we bringing these here? Because the shepherds, and the shepherds came to the site of birth carrying flutes. What's your head, man? Anything you need, you can ask us. The, the flute says... No, you cannot. The flute says, and the shepherds came to the site of birth carrying flutes. Whatever, you cannot use it inside, okay? okay? You just carry it. This is where Jesus was born. Right there? Right there. On this rock. Are you allowed to touch it? You can touch it, you can kiss it, you can... I think that's all <laughs> you can do with it. How do they know that? It's an oral tradition saying that this is the place. But does Jesus want us to come here and see where was he born and touch the stones and go crying and blah, blah, blah? I don't think so. Uh, I think I'm with you on that. Little donkey. I'd say the only time I've, I've had religion in my life was playing Little Donkey at school. I mean, mate Wayne, he was Catholic, and he, he said, oh, do you want to go and do this? And I was like, piss off. And he said, right, you just swore. If you don't come with me to church, I'm going to tell your mum that you told me to piss off. So I had to go with him. And in the end, I got chucked out for bouncing the tennis ball, sort of, in the church. That's been about it. But I think I got more of a feeling from that wall than I did from where Jesus was born. Yet people are going in there, sort of like, oh, oh, you want to go over there? That's where you're going to have a tear. It's depressing. now and we're only just going to the wonder but um, I was looking in the guidebook and we passed the Dead Sea this way and it's just been nice for me to have a bit of a restful day Ricky doesn't even need to know looks quite good I'm not a great swimmer but the good thing with the Dead Sea is you just float about in it it's like loads of salt in it it's another experience isn't it it's one of life's little wonders a proper wonder a natural wonder which is the sort I like really It's not too busy either. I thought it'd be a right tourist trap. This is all right, this. Uh, something that I read in the book. This is the lowest place on the world. I know we don't normally have sort of information on this programme and that, like not proper stuff anyway, 
but that's a little bit. It's the lowest plate. This is, you can't get lower than this. I don't know why. I don't even know if it's true, but that's what I've read. So I might as well give it a go. Everybody else seems to be doing it. Right. Whatever I'm doing, I've got to do it quick, because that is so hot. It's really uneven. Fucking hell, you really do, you know? Look at that. I don't even have to, like, do anything. This is ace. Carl, what's going on in your, with your belly button, mate? What the fuck is that? Is that a fag end? Or was that... Is that someone's gauze? It looks like someone's gobbed in here. Fucking hell, it is as well. Phone. Come here. Hello? What's going on? I'm just in the in the Dead Sea. Floating around? Yeah, just floating around with someone's goz. Oh. There's old people in here just clearing the throats and that. I just had some in my belly button. Oh, that is disgusting. So that's what's floating above. Christ knows what's floating under me. Maybe that's why I'm floating around. 90% looking. 90% oh, guitar. I wasn't going to say taste it to see how salty it is, but don't. It's nice um, though. It's good this. Now, Carl, yeah. get out of the Dead Sea, put some clothes on, and do some fucking work. I've been You're doing work for. I've been doing work for four days. This is an experience still. It's good for the program. I'm explaining to people how it's loads of salt in it. You float about. It's good for your skin. It's We're not, not good for your skin if you're covered in old people's vomit and sick and phlegm and snot. I don't, I, I've never seen that on any Alan Wicker Exactly, show or exactly. Palin. This is I, the I, truth. I, I got into the Dead Sea. Oh, there's old people gossiping. There is. This is, a, this is not a travel show. He sounded a bit pissed off that I was having a rest, didn't he? Where am I going? Petra. Yeah. Go. I can go. Yeah, it's good to be in Jordan, but we could have been here days ago, couldn't we? Petra's only down the road. We could drive there, but Ricky's come up with this idea that, you know, I meet a local bloke called Mohammed who's got a camel. You know, how long's that gonna take? My friend. Hello. We need to cross this road. And how many hours? How many hours that way? At least 48 hours, two days, full days of the camels. Fucking hell. Hold here. Would you like some music? What kind of music do you have? It's just music, no singing. When I'm a little bit stressed, it calms me. It's the ladies sing. There's no singing, it's just a, a man on a clarinet. Ah. It's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice. You teach me English song, I'll teach you Bedouin song. Hey, no, help My friend. Good, yeah. How's your ass now? Fucking hell. Look, you can see up here, it's going on for miles. <sighs> Just 
doesn't make sense, does it? Why, why, do, why do people live in the middle of nowhere when you've got to travel that sort of distance to get to somewhere? Because he was saying some people have to do that once a week to nip to the shops and they get a big order in and then carry it all the way back. Move then, move closer to the shop or open a shop. What's it like where we're staying tonight? Maybe we found a bit with tents. Maybe be alone in the desert, in the sand dunes. Sometimes the Bedouins, they move. I don't know. You must have a plan. This is desert. You don't know what's the desert keep for us. We'll see. <sighs> this camel's knackered. Keeps stopping every 10 minutes. Uh, that could be a good camel. It's just sort of moaning, isn't it? Uh, fucking sick of it. We're going to carry it now by the uh, by the, by car. the van. Yeah. It was all weird though, wasn't it? It was like a breakdown, a proper breakdown in a the desert. They turn up, stick it on the back. No, it's knackered, it's gonna cost you. But to be honest, it's a bit of luck that, because I've had enough. I'm up to here with this. The camels have been around for years. The ships of the desert. That's what they're known as. We've ended up with Titanic. As long as it's not a major gale, I'm sure it'll be all right. He's got 14 kids. So, you know, me staying's hardly an issue, is it? You see how the camera stand up? Yeah, he's happy now, isn't he? You just strap the bag to his head. Get in there. Let's get this done. Get the day done. Get to bed. Oh. These are all his sons. Yeah, all his sons. But I'm not allowed to see the mother. No. At all. Not even to say hello. Thanks nope. for having us. No. Nope. Forbidden. No way. That's why the. What about this, what age? You see, what about by accident? That's why the house. It's covered. But say if I go to the toilet, I knock. Do, 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 do. I'm not. I'm in here. She comes out. I see her. That's not her fault. That's my fault. So. What happens then? This is by mistake, no problem. That's fine, OK. Mr Mohammed said, um, he said, oh, they don't get many guests here, so... It's a bit polite. But there was a big pot or something in there that looked like some sort of milk. I'm not seeing any cows, so I don't know where it's come from. I'm not a fan of milk anyway. It's not being rude, it's just I don't want to eat it, I don't want to get ill. I'm, I, I'm surprised they don't want me to get ill, because we're all sharing that little toilet. I'm in the middle of nowhere, honest to God, it's moonlike. Now, hold on. How did you get there? Did you go by camel? Eight hours on a camel. I bet you got a big, couple of big fallen humps, didn't you? Well, I tell you, it's not funny. I mean, I, I reckon I've done some damage. It was just long and it was hot. That is quite a good description of a desert. It's long and hot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's just, that's what I'm saying, though. There's nothing to look at. It's not like it's worth doing so many hours. After half an hour, you've seen yeah, it. Yeah, but Carl, Carl, I think I can break this to you now. This wasn't for your amusement. This was for my amusement. And if you're having a bad time, bumping up and down on a camel, being de de dehydrated, with your, your, your testicles being battered, that's good entertainment for me and Sky One viewers. It's not, though. So this I... is what I'm giving back. This is what I'm giving back to society. You are my gift to the rest of the world. Hang on a minute. Something's just fucking run up my leg. Can I call you tomorrow or something? Yeah, I'll see you later, See you mate. later. See you later. The fuck was that? Goodbye. See ya. Fucking hell. Can we just eat and go to bed? Mm. Well, I'm, I'm looking at this. 
Hit it, Hampton Hall. Don't put too um, too much of that on 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 my bit. I can't um, I can't have too much of that. Is that the meat there? That's the tongue. The what? The tongue. Thank you for the goats. Can you have it? No. Why? Come on. Oh. Thank you. Eat more. Can you come look at it? Tasha, Tasha. It's a meat. It's, it's not from the goat. But what bit is it though? That's the not eye. meat. This is the eye. Yeah, I can't I eat the eye. I'll tell you now. I've got a very bad gag reflex. Now, if I eat that and I start gagging, that doesn't look good either. <laughs> They'll think I'm rude. This is a weird night out, isn't it? What time do we normally go to sleep? Uh, tonight you have a guest. Mm. So what does that mean? You and he couldn't go sleep early. No, he can't. He can't, honestly. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm shattered. I just want my bed. But, you know, what, what can you do? And with a family who doesn't understand me, I don't understand them. They're cooking food I don't like. Well, it's, it's been hard work today, hasn't it? Are we actually going to get to Petra tomorrow? Or, or what? I just want to see the wonder today, Petra. That's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm not in any mood for messing about. I didn't sleep that well last night. I had a rough day yesterday, 10 hours on the back of a camel in roasting heat. I've just spoke to Mohammed. He said, we're not even quarter of the way there yet. I mean, does he think I'm going to be getting on a camel again? Well, how are we going to get there? We could have drove on this brilliantly yesterday, but we, we were on a camel instead. We can now drive. We don't have a car, my friend. We have a camels. Yeah, but they broke down yesterday. Why can't we just get in that one? Oh, we have to buy a camel. We don't have to. I don't need to get on a camel again. But we are on the, have the way now. The programme's an hour long. We've done eight hours of filming on a camel. OK. You do the math. I'm not going on a fucking camel again. I swear to God. We've talked about this. I'm bored of arguing with you. If you're not listening, I'm not listening. I'm not going on a camel again. Come on. I'm not going on a camel again. Why? I'm not going on a camel again. Why? I'm not, I'm not going on a camel again. We have... Not going on a camel. We have one not day going more. on a camel again. OK, we get to go with this car. So how long will it be by car? It's a couple of hours. I'm just sick of camels. I mean, you've got to prefer this, haven't you? So much nicer. Yeah? Yeah. I'll be in a good mood then when we see Petra and I'll go, oh, wow, amazing. So we're in now, this is the start of it, is it? We are now in the beginning of the city of Petra. OK, my friend, I have to leave you now. Nice to meet you, Colin. See you again, yeah? See you again, again. Said that, welcome to Petra. He said pa Petra is Latin for um, I forgot now. This is the problem with this. There's too much to tack in. I mean, I, I didn't come here for a Latin lesson. I just want to know where the wonder is, and let's have a look at it. Hang on. Hello? Alright. Alright. Right, what's going on? I've, uh, I'm just, just stood in front of the wonder. Yeah? That was a waste of time last night, staying with the Bedwins. Why? He gave me lamb's eyes to eat. Uh, I slept on a hard floor all night, so I feel like shit. That's, that's how I'm feeling. I mean, it's, it, it looks alright. I'm sure if I was in a better mood, I'd big it up. I'm basically in the middle of a load of rock and someone's carved it out, and it is amazing but I don't know yeah. what, what more there is to say than that. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. You're spending the night in a cave, Carl, tonight. What for? What's the... Is what? It funny? What? 
funny. What? Hello? Steve. Hello, Rick. Oh, it's Carl. Um, I've just spoke to Ricky. He said, oh, you're staying in a cave tonight. Yeah. Well, what, what's that about? Because I, I don't think he's taking this serious. Well, no, I mean, I remember you, when we were chatting about it before you went there, you said, oh, you'd rather be living in a hole looking at a palace than living in a palace looking at a hole. It was all about the, the view. Yeah, but I didn't... I didn't so we thought, I, I like, didn't... that's what Carl wants. That's clearly exactly what he wants. No, but I didn't literally mean that's what I'd like. You only see one building, only so far. The agency of Petra is huge. It's spread over a vast area. You've got to explore it. See, you know, see what else is happening. Have a good one, mate. I mean, this is a an all-time low, I reckon, of my life. You've barely mentioned the wonder, Carl. I mean, I know. Well, it's I'm not thinking about it, am I? How can I stand there and go, "Oh, what a what a beautiful bit of work"? When, when in the back of my head, you're going, "Carl, you're living in a cave tonight." I can't focus on that. Oh God! Steve said I've got to find a fella called Ibrahim who's going to let me stay in his cave. It's been a long day. How are you? How you doing? So what do you put down huh? as a, what do you put down as an address? Jordan just, Petra, that's just all. Jordan. That's yeah. never gonna get to you. Yeah, that's it. You will be and the postman would know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know it. And and everything you order yes. Yes. always gets to your house. Yeah. Yeah. That's Their cave. It. Yeah. Mm. I can't believe that, because I order stuff uh -huh. and get it delivered. Sometimes it doesn't turn up. Yeah. And I've got a postcode. That's amazed me more than yeah. the wonder. Yeah. That. That, that you can get post delivered. I can't believe that. Yeah. What facilities are in the cave? Uh, we put the uh, mattress, uh, we make the fire, and we sleep wherever, between the sky and the land. Not like uh, the city. Ricky Corn says, you're staying in the cave, and starts laughing. And I pictured the sort of caves you get in Wales, where it's all sharp, sharp edges, really damp, and the sea comes in at some point in the night. I get here, decent size, dead warm, dead cosy. Nice touch with the candles. I tell you, I've seen houses that are worse than this. I think I can, I, I can s sort of fit into this way of life. It is like holiday, every day. Nice little holiday home, eating like this, having a drink, suits me down to the ground, this. Ricky always says I'm a bit like, you know, a caveman, and I haven't really evolved. He says the shape of my head and the way my eyebrows come out a bit. But maybe that's it, maybe uh, I was born a bit late. Oh, God. See, we haven't all evolved, have we? It's just a few of us. I haven't got a clue out of the time. I turn the tap on still and I go, how's water coming out of that? I'm lucky because I'm around because someone else has come up with it. But at the end of the day, if stuff was left down to me, I'd still be living in here. If I was lucky, you know, I don't know if I could come up with this. He just was saying how they used to do it. He said they put a hole in the rock, stick like a tree trunk in it, put water in, and the wood expands. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. It makes the hole bigger. There's no way I'd come up with that. I won't come up with that now. And yet they did that three and a half thousand years ago. Slept all right once I got off, really. Um, there's a cat mooching about now and again, wandering in. But I suppose that's the problem when you haven't got a front door, isn't it? That was a good night. Best night since I've been here. Yeah. I'd do it again, you know. Whilst I've been in this part of the world, there's not many things that have happened that I'd say I'd do that again. Mm -hmm. But that, I would. So, yeah, I loved it. Really, really smart. I can imagine living at this time. I can picture myself just coming out of a little hole, just with a club, um, thinking, what am I going to do today? And it's, it's easy to invent stuff back then because there was nothing else about. So anything you needed, you come up with it. What a dry my hands, I've just washed my hands, I'll do a towel. Everything, anything you think of. This soup's hard to eat, 
or a spoon. Do you know what I mean? Where you can't, you think of something now. You try and come up with something now that you need now. Came up with a see-through toaster. Do you know, because you always do that, you're thinking, is it done yet? And you have to keep pressing the spring and then you end up breaking it because you force the spring open. See-through toaster. Went online, typed it in. It's already been invented. Dragon's Den back then would have been a piece of piss. Everybody who came in, that's a bloody good idea. Get it made. Thirty, a deer, the monastery. Sitting at the summit of Jabal a deer is Petra's grandest monument of all, a deer. The name is the Arabic word for monastery. Do take advantage of this moment and immerse yourself in the magnificence and mysticism of this historic place. Right. Yeah. I can't even go in it. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's, that's useless, isn't it? Who's put them there? That's, I mean, look. But my point is, you sat in there, and that's your view over there. If you look here, point proven. You're better off living in the hole, looking at the palace, than living in the palace, looking at the hole, aren't you? So Ricky and Steve can say I'm a knob. I think that's my point proven, isn't it? But I wasn't just talking about buildings, I mean, in life, even being a good looking person or an ugly one, in a way, you're better off being the ugly one and you get to look at nice things. You're looking at the nicer looking people. It doesn't matter about being ugly, how often do you look at yourself anyway? Same thing, be the ugly one, look at the nice one. What's that? Who owns that? Why is a dog so high up? It's not going to show up, that dog, is it? Oh, fuck me. Jesus. <laughs>